Welcome into another Musings from the Mondo tutorial. Where we're going to look at doing a uh, tune shader, you know, comic book dot uh, kind of shader to get that uh, comic book animated feel. And as you can see, we're going to be able to play with it to get uh, more um, <clears throat> large or more fine tuned dots. So let's just jump right in. We'll clear this guy out here and we'll start. Uh, in the shader editor of uh, the scene setup, uh, just a light between two Suzanne's. And as you can see, I kind of have it in the middle <clears throat> and in front of both of them so it can cast some shadows for us to work with. And let's see here. First thing we want to do is we're going to delete this principal VCB BSDF. Man, I'm struggling with there. Uh, let's start with a diffuse. And we're going to do a 2 RGB on that shader to RGB. We're going to jump in here to here and throw that into there. And <clears throat> we're going to throw in a color ramp so we can fine tune uh, how it reacts to the shadows. So let's go right there. We'll start with it like that. And then uh, what I want to do is we're going <clears> to <throat> add in the dots. So let's do a mixed color. Throw that in there. Um, we're going to set the fact. Uh, I didn't mean to uncheck that. We're going to set the factor to 0.3. Make sure the diffuse is in the A slot. And then we are going to do a Voronoi texture in the B slot. We're going to go distance to B. Uh, let's make sure this is set to 2D. Uh, we'll do a scale of 25 for the larger dots. And then we want to make sure the random is maybe a dot 1 or lower. <clears throat> and if you have Node Wrangler um, enabled, we're just going to hit Control T with the Voronoi texture. If not, just be sure to add a mapping and a texture coordinate. And we want to go camera to texture. And then I am going to set all three scales here to 2. And you can see we have these larger uh, dots uh, to work with. And then let's add a little bit of ability to fine tune this. So before the color ramp, we're going to add a uh, brightness. And if we hover over bright uh, and hold down shift so we can do some fine controls, you can see we can affect uh, the darkness of these lines um, and kind of get it exactly how we want it, how much we want those dots to pop. And then all that we have left to do then is we need to know the two colors we're going to work with. We could update them here in the uh, color ramp or if we want to have uh, just control outside of that, what we'll do is we're going to add another mixed color. We want this to go into the factor. And we can just easily here, um, you know, put uh, the color we want to. Oh, I need to change this, I'm sorry, to constant. And let's get this guy. Let's adjust him a little bit better that way. And let's do him about like this that um, <clears throat> and then you know we have our dot color and we have our um, primary color we can also add an RGB down here shift RGB um, put it right here let's just maybe set that to blue we'll set our first color here to blue and we can do it this way with um, the black contrast, or we could throw in a U saturation. Just drop it up here. I didn't really want it to grab that one, so we're going to grab. No, no, that's. No, yeah, that's not what I want to do. I want the RGB to go into B, and I want the U saturation to go into A. And then what we'll do is we'll drop this value to a 0.1. 
and then we can actually have our dots be a shade of our main color and then just as we change our color here it changes the dots and then if we lower this we can get you know closer to the black contrast and then if you want to go with uh, finer dots then all we need is go over here to our Voinoy texture we could bump it up to say 75 and we get those finer dots and so the two areas we can really play with is scale uh, on our Voinoy texture you could jump this over here and put the color ramp to linear if you want to play a little bit more with the way the colors feed into each other I kind of really like that um, so based on the effects you're trying to get you can either do constant uh, or linear there like I said the more I think about it I kind of like the linear better um, and then we can play with our colors down here and make it any any combination of colors we want let's jump back up here maybe to a 35 yeah I'm liking that so I hope this was helpful I'm gonna have a part two to this video where we look at putting um, some line art around it uh, using <coughs> uh, grease pencil and our green uh, grease pencil stroke uh, I used to do uh, freeform but you know I found that I like um, or freestyle not freeform <laughs> I like using the stroke better but till the next time